Howdy folks, welcome back. If you're clicking on this video, probably trying to get Conan Exiles working on the Steam Deck. I found a kind of solution to that, whereas you can play it in desktop mode if you follow these steps. Uh, as for handheld mode, I haven't really tried it, and as for multiplayer, I haven't really tried it. However, single player, campaign, desktop mode, it does work. What you do, I'm sorry for recording this way, but um, you go into your library. I don't really have a capture card, so, you know, I'm not set up to record the desktop, but plus you can at least see that I'm not, not faking it. I've got my Steam Deck here. And just to show that it is it is plugged in, let me just hit the volume buttons up and down. So yeah, you know, it's 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 my Steam Deck um, hooked up into a dock. But what you do, you find Conan Exiles and you have to or at least it's safe to do this with any game that you're having trouble for. Go over here to manage. Click that. Go down to properties. You will have this come up. Click compatibility. Force Steam to use compatibility tools. I'm using Proton Experimental. Whichever one, you know, works for you. Also go down. Make, for, make sure that you uh, verify the integrity of the game files, all right? After all that is done and you are in desktop mode on the Steam Deck, because it doesn't work too good in handheld mode, um, it will work, but you'll have to tinker with the resolution and everything else, and it's a pain in the butt. Uh, it'll only work docked. Go over to play hit play, wait a minute, because it does take a little minute, and by the way, I'm running off the SD card, um, and just let it launch. There you go. Again, I'm running off the micro SD card for this, because it's a 100 gigabyte game, uh, so your mileage may vary. But uh, I'm going to let this play all the way through just so you can see there's no tricks or, 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 you know, edits. And then I will show you the last thing that you need to do when you are actually in the game. Because if you don't do this uh, final step, you will have some issues. That's a pretty clean setup. You know, while we're waiting, pretty clean setup. And this is the first load. I literally just booted my Steam. If I had like done this prior and like, like boot up off of RAM, it would probably went a little faster than that. But yeah, whatever, or cash or whatever. Yep, we're not playing it the way it's meant to be played. That's for sure. Uh, it's amazing to me that the Steam Deck can actually run all this crap. First, they took your family and your riches. There you can see the cutscenes are playing just fine. Then they took your health and your pride. Now. It's a really good game. I think I want to hold off till I get a gaming PC to play through it though so I can max it all the way out. Because that's one of the issues that I'm going to get around to here. Uh, logging in, verifying, you can see we're halfway there. I used to be able to just get to the screen and crash out so many times, but I finally figured out what you can do, and this is highly recommended, you go into settings. Now in the settings tab, and you, you, you can tweak this and still play it without just doing it this way, but the easiest way to do it is just to click low-end laptop mode. 
you click that and it'll go into like the, the lowest possible settings on everything. Um, and you can get in. Now again, you can do it not like that, but while you're making sure you can get into it and stuff, do that first. Set it on low-end laptop mode. Make sure you're using the compatibility layers. And make sure you are in desktop mode with the Steam Deck. And I haven't played it online. It might work online. I don't know about the anti-cheat. But as far as single player, I will hit my continued game. I'm going to single player. Uh, campaign mode. Again, this is running off the SD card. I was tickled shitless when I got this working. Because <laughs> I had just got rid of, I had just got Conan Exiles right when I got rid of my uh, gaming <laughs> PC. And I've been using like the Steam Deck as sort of a stopgap. And so far, I mean, the Steam Deck has been amazing at the stuff it can, it can run. I think a lot of that is Steam OS and uh, it being an optimized operating system for gaming, a lightweight operating system. The fact you're gaming on Linux, the fact you can even do this on Linux, though, is, is incredible. And as you can see, my first load in, there's my character, just to prove that I've been playing for a while. Uh, let me get tab bear and bring up the, is it tab that brings up the menu? What did I do? What just happened? Oh no. Oh shit. I hit the wrong key. Okay. Oh no, I hit console. Oops, how do I get out of that? There we go. Whoops, I hit con I hit I didn't hit I went to hit tab and I hit console instead. I was sorry about that. Anyway, tab. I guess you can put in console commands on there, but anyway. Uh just to show that I have been playing this not a long time, but I've made it up to the dark spires and stuff and you know I've leveled up and so forth. I'm gonna uninstall it though because I'm gonna play uh a game that's more suited to handheld. That's one of the issues with the Steam Deck. Even if you got this working in handheld mode, it's still a game that is better suited to desktop mode, if you know what I mean. Because you have crafting menu. I mean, it works with a controller and stuff, but you still have like these crafting menus and this really, really tiny text. And when you're in something like this, and you're trying to see text that small on a little screen like that, it just, and, and again, you can hear it coming from, hear the sound. See my reflection, hi guys. You can hear the sound coming from the Steam Deck. So yeah, it's legit. I just don't have the screen on, can't be bothered. Um, well actually, you know what? What's this? I will un actually undock it. And I'll show you the issue, another issue that we have with the handheld is it goes into this weird vertical mode. Oh shit, that actually fixed it. <laughs> there we have it on the Steam Deck. Legit. Going in Exiles right there. But again, you go, and all the keys and stuff work. I had some errors pop up, but all the keys and stuff work. Let's see, how do I get into the menu? But you can see how tiny that text is, man. It's just not optimized to play in handheld mode. It's much better in dock mode. Uh, but yeah, I was always a, a Conan the Barbarian fan back in the day. I mean, I've literally got, you know, my Barbarian rights right over there. In the secret to the runes, so yep. E. Howard fan, Lovecraft fan. Good game. Like the story is really good so far, and I know why people might want to play this. Either even not even just on the Steam Deck, but like like a low end system. If you want to play this, 
Uh, it will work. However, again, since you can really crank the graphics up and get some amazing visuals on it, I'm going to wait till I get me like a, a proper gaming rig again. Steam Deck, kind of a stopgap for me right now. Uh, and plus, I do prefer to play like on the go. I, 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 I like using it as a handheld, and there's a lot of other games out there more suited uh, toward handheld gameplay. My best advice with Steam Deck is anything that is console-based, like Resident Evil and, and stuff like that. And I can't do this one hundred, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I just got to end the video. Uh, uh, most console-type games work best with this. Like games that have already native controller support work the best. Games like Resident Evil, High on Life, uh, Shooters, Doom, uh, those types of games. I'm trying to think of some others off the top of my head. Uh, Mud Runner, Snow Runner, those types of games. They work fine on the Steam Deck. Uh, Cyberpunk, I, I hear it works. I haven't actually tried Cyberpunk, but I imagine DTA and Cyberpunk would be fine on it. Um, but so far, every single game I have thrown at this thing has worked. Might not work the best of the best, but has worked. Like this, it is working. You can play it. You can play it with kind of crappy low graphics, only in desktop mode, but you can still play it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and I, I actually, I, I sit down and I played this all like, oh, Lord, I got sucked into it. I played I don't know how long, how many hours. I started the new character and played again. Because I didn't know what I was doing the first run. And <laughs> finally I figured, that, oh wait, you're supposed to follow the road. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty awesome. Hope that helped you well. Bye-bye. Mm,